Hi, I'm Katie Palmer, Curator of Education at the Musical Instrument Museum. And today we're going to make some instruments with materials that you can find around your house. So using egg shakers as our inspiration, I thought that we would make some maracas together. What you'll need for this, uh, you'll need some plastic egg shells here. Uh, you'll need some beads, any variety, as long as they're small and can fit inside our egg shakers will work. Uh, some plastic spoons would be great. And then some form of tape. You have options here and you can sort of think about uh, the age of your kiddo and what your kiddo would work best with. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our eggshell and we're going to put some beads inside. The great opportunity for counting, great opportunity to take some beads and decide what colors we want. Uh, I'm going to do some orange and green together and in this one I'm going to put a five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to close that up, get a nice seal on it and listen to it. Not bad. In Another one, I'm going to increase the number by a lot. So I'm going to say I'm going to put 15 in and we're going to do this with any colors that we want. Your kiddos may have a different preference. No problem there. That's 10. We need five more. These beads I ordered um, on Amazon, just basic crafting beads will work. But if you have perler beads or other ornamental beads, those will work as well. So this is our egg shaker with 15. So if we listen to them, They definitely have a different sound about them. The next step is we're going to take our two spoons. We're going to put our egg shaker right in the middle of those two spoons. Now, depending on the age of your child, this is where you may need to help them. And that would be a great opportunity for you to use your hands while they take their hands. And either using masking tape, which I think is great for our youngest kiddos because we don't have to worry about tearing it. If you give them a little piece, they can either wrap it around or they can just tape it. But we want to start with the top here so that we get it nice and secure. Now, um, if you've taken classes with me at MIM, you know that my preference would be uh, for more tape. <laughs> so once you get going with just a little bit of tape, you can just take it around. It doesn't matter how pretty it looks because we can decorate it. And the great thing about tape is that it's sticky. So we're going to push it in together. So we've got the top done. I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and go all the way down and do the bottom. The last thing you want is to lose your beads in your house somewhere from a maraca explosion. Cleaning up a maraca explosion is no fun. I know from personal experience. <laughs> And so as these go together, we want to make sure that our spoons on the bottom stay relatively even. Great. So we have one maraca finished. Easy peasy, no problem. And we can listen to that. Sounds pretty good. You can decorate that with some other tape. You can either use packing tape. Get packing tape in colors. I get it at U-Line usually. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to do the base. This tape does require either scissors or something sharp to cut it on. But it's one that tears pretty easily. And then next, you can continue to decorate. You can use your colored packing tape uh, or your clear packing tape and decorate the top. Or what I've done on my other maraca here is I've just taken some Sharpies and I put some decorations right on the surface of um, the maraca. So I'd encourage you to do that twice so that you have two maracas. When we have two, it's good for our bilateral development. We can put one in each hand uh, and then you can sort of play along and jam along or dance along to sort of whatever feels good to you. Let's hear what they sound like. Not bad. Thanks.